Can you believe it? This is so depressing. Can you turn on the air, Daddy? I think I'm going to be sick. Stop reading the news. It's not going to make you any happier. The world is like literally imploding. What's the point of even trying to be happy anymore? That's precisely when you need happiness more than ever. I don't think it's ever been this bad. Air conditioning, please. Speaking of air conditioning, do you know when my father Shmuel was growing up in the 1920s, the average life expectancy was only 50 years old? What? There were no antibiotics. If you had four children, there was a good chance one of them would die as a baby. If you wanted to travel overseas, it would take weeks. There were no refrigerators, just boxes with ice, if you were lucky. Certainly no air conditioning. If you were hot, you just sweat. Well, luckily we don't live back then. If you had told Saba Shmuel in 1920 that someday people would regularly live into their 80s, that you could take a pill to get rid of infections, to travel to another continent, you could just hop on an aeroplane, and if you were hot, you could push a button and be cool, he would say, that's paradise. If only I had that, then I would be happy. But we have all of that, and people still aren't happy. So you're agreeing with me, happiness is an illusion. Except for the study. What study? The longest scientific study in the history of the world, on health and happiness. Are you making this up? What you haven't heard of it? The Harvard Study of Adult Development, Dr. Waldinger, Harvard University. It's been going on since 1938, more than 75 years. No? They studied the physical and mental health and happiness of over 700 young men. Half of them from Harvard and half from the poorest neighborhoods in Boston. They studied the men and the wives of those who got married and even their children for over 75 years. This is the longest scientific study in modern history on health and happiness. And the study found that what was more important above anything else for your physical and mental health and happiness was... Wait, let me guess. I'm good at these things. Exercise. Nope. Your diet. Nope. How much money you have. Not even close. The biggest determinant of whether a 50-year-old would be healthy and happy when they were 80 was whether or not they had good, quality, deep relationships. You're kidding. I'm not. Look it up. Dr. Waldinger, Harvard Study of Adult Development. Everyone's talking about it. It turns out the worst thing for your health and happiness is to be lonely. Oh my God, this is what the Surgeon General was talking about. And listen to this. I decided to tell my rabbi about this groundbreaking study so he can learn some real science. And he tells me to read the first few pages of the Bible. And I'm saying to myself, what does he want from me? I'm not religious. But he tells me it's only a few pages. So, no, I read. You know the story. God created light and it was good. He created the earth and it was good. He made the plants, and it was good. The sun, the moon, the stars, and it was good. Okay, Daddy, everyone knows the story. The birds and the animals. And it was good. No? Oh, so, so far, it was all good. And then, a few pages later, all of a sudden it says, not good. What? It's the first time, the very first time in the Bible that it says the words not good is when it says, it is not good for a person to be alone. Psh. Think about how much time and money Harvard University could have saved itself. So there's nothing new under the sun. Okay, it's not good to be alone, but that can't be it. I mean, for example, right now, I'm not alone. I'm with you, enjoying a good conversation. But what would make me really happy right now, to be honest, is a milkshake. In fact, I want it so much I can taste it. Does Dr. Waldinger's study say anything about the connection between cold, creamy, delicious milkshakes and happiness? Hanan, of course the milkshake is going to feel good. But there's a big difference between happiness and pleasure. And that difference is one of the most important keys to finding true happiness.